all right here i want to show you how you can construct the surface development of a comp complete cylinder how you can construct the surface development of a complete cylinder when you are given the front elevation now as you can see on my paper i've drawn the front elevation of a cylindrical object the front elevation of a cylinder is usually a rectangle then when you are given the front elevation and you construct it as i've done here actually what i have here the 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 base or the diameter sorry the diameter of the cylinder is 50 millimeters so why the height is 70 millimeters so after you have after you have constructed the front elevation the next thing to do is that you construct the plan or you construct the plan first the plan is a circle so you construct the plan first then through that you will be able to construct the front elevation now after you have done this the next thing that you need to do is to take the radius of this circle the radius of the circle will be 25 millimeters so what you need to do now is that you put your compass at this point and you make 12 arcs or you divide this circle let me say it like that like, like this you divide this circle into 12 equal parts so i believe you know how to do that i'm going to pause the video and come back after i have done that all right i've divided the circle into 12 equal parts as you can see here and i've numbered this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12. so the next thing that we are going to do is that as you can see here that there is a line that i've drawn here from this point one i've drawn a vertical line which gives me this side of the of the front elevation of the cylinder likewise from this point where i have seven I've already drawn a vertical line which will give me this side of the front elevation of the cylinder. So the next thing I'm going to do is that from each of these points, look at it, point 2 and point 12, they are along the same line. So if I want to draw a vertical line from here now, so from 2, it will pass through 12. So we do this, so it goes like this, and then 3 and 11, they are on the same point on the circumference of the circle so you draw the vertical line into the front elevation and then so five and nine they are also at the same point on the circumference of the circle so draw a vertical line like this and then six and eight they are the same point on the circumference of the circle draw a vertical line like this okay now the next thing that we are going to do after you have done this is that you draw a horizontal line from the base of this of the cylinder so draw a, a horizontal line from here to this side okay then you take it up so let me make it more thicker than this so that we can see it okay now so take it up and draw a horizontal line from here okay so after you have done this So the next thing is take your cell square, take your cell square, bring it to this point, and draw a vertical line here with a thick line. Draw a vertical line here with a thick line. So now what we want to do here now is that I need to number, I need to number, I will do that and come back. Okay, so I have numbered this base based on the position of each vertical line that we projected into the front elevation so this is one prime this is two two prime and 12 prime this is three prime and eleven prime this is four prime and ten prime this is five prime nine prime six prime eight prime and seven prime now after you have done this we are going to calculate the the, circum the circumference of this circle we calculate the circumference of this circle because we want to develop this cylinder. We want to cut it at this point. So I'm cutting it at this point on line one. So if you have a cylindrical object, so you cut one part of it and you open it. It's going to give you a rectangle. That's what we want to do. That's what we call surface development. 
So we are cutting it at this point, and this point that we are cutting it, in order to spread it, is known as a seam. So this point where we are cutting it is known as a seam. So we are cutting it at this point one, then we spread it. So what you need to do now is to calculate the circumference of the circle. So to calculate the circumference of the circle, you multiply pi by the diameter of the circle. So pi is 3.142. And diameter is 50, and if you calculate that with the use of your calculator, that will give you 157 millimeters. So, what you need to do now is to take a measurement of 157 on this line. So, this is the starting point because we are cutting it from this point. So, I put one here, I put one here. So, we are cutting it at point one along this line one. So, in order to open it, so I put one here and you take a measurement of 157 on this line. So, this is 157 here now so what you are going to do is that you are going to divide this distance so i also have one here so if i cut at one so i will have one one on both sides are you least but i believe this is clear so you divide this line 157 divided into 12 equal parts as you have divided this circle into 12 equal parts so i will do that and come back because i know that you know how to do that so, all right, <clears throat> the number has been divided into 12 equal parts, and I've numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and we're back to 1. Because when we cut it at this point, 1, we're going to have 1, 1 on both ends as we have it here. So, the next thing that we are going to do is that at each of these points, so starting from here, we have drawn a vertical line from one. So you draw a vertical line here. So draw a vertical line here. Then this also is a vertical line. So draw a vertical line here. So draw a vertical line here at five. Here also a vertical line. There is also a vertical line. So all these vertical lines should be drawn within continuous lines because this method that we are using for the development of cylinder and that of the prism, we call it parallel line method. Parallel line method. So all these lines should be made within continuous lines. So the last one, which is point one, as you can see, this line so that is the edge of the cylinder so you make it thick so i'm using a black pen to make that okay this is it and also when i open it i will see this uh base being a thick line so you also make this a thick line okay Also, for this one, it's also a thick line. All right, so what we have here, so this shape that we have here is the surface development of a complete cylinder. Thank you for listening. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not subscribed for you to learn more because I'm going to do more, more, more work on this technical drawing. So subscribe and share this video with friends who are technical drawing or engineering drawing students. Thank you for listening. God bless you.